Well, 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 what we know so far about the uh, seven families of fairies. First of all, there are seven families of fairies. If we look in the basic end of the book, mm-hmm, yep, there you go, the people. We see seven, basically, elves, dwarves, trolls, goblins, centaurs, pixies, and sprites. Or, that's what we know, knew, so far. But what we discover in this book? Well, let's find out. Hello, fellow bookquesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today, I have the fifth installment in the Artemis Fowl series. Artemis Fowl and the Lost Colony by Eon Colfer himself, and well, Let's get right on to it. Our dear Artemis Fowl child prodigy criminal mastermind has suddenly become a goody two shoes. He has decided to save the world. From what? Well, about that, there is an eighth family of fairies, and they are called demons. They when they're little they're called imps, but when they become when they hit puberty, um they become demons basically and they they kind of hate humans and and on and on but they some of them are quite friendly like number one a small imp who has begun to realize that he has magic and all demons does not have magic and Artemis Fowl back to the story the the demons right now they are stuck in an island outside of space and time because of when a warlock's spell spell went airy and they are stuck outside space and time but that spell is starting to loosen and without some silver or gold to anchor them to that particular world if they lose their little home of theirs and the spell breaks and they start materializing around the earth well, you know, the fairies would be revealed, and it wouldn't be too good at all. And, yeah, it won't be too good at all. So, to be honest, demons, that's cool. And I honestly thought that they were gonna be, like, way evil, but they aren't, they aren't evil, they're just fairies, like goblins, for example. Now, goblins are evil, as we have found out in the last couple books. But, yeah. And Artemis follows their mind to stop those demons from ruining all the other fairies. Not, the demons aren't the problem. The problem is, you know... Just the fact that they're appearing in the middle of operas and operas in the middle of streets and everyone's gonna see them and that's not good at all. But there's another child prodigy, that's the that's the part that that is exciting, named Minerva, Minerva Paradiso. And she is another mastermind and she is well, she's very high in IQ. And she is about to capture the demon, study him, and reveal the demons to the scientific world, which Artemis Fowl and the fairy police cannot allow to happen. And so Artemis Fowl charges against someone who is finally almost equal in intellect as him. And that's the fun part, because never in the Artemis Fowl books has Artemis encountered someone that is as smart as himself. And we had always trusted Artemis' plans to go into action and beat them all. But this time, he's dealing with something different. Something almost as smart and as cunning as him. And she, Minerva, might not be the real enemy. And the book continues on. And personally, I loved it because finally it was something of a challenge for you know, Artemis is Minerva, that is so ironic, because Artemis, as you know, is the hunter, the Greek goddess of the, goddess of the hunt, the eternal maiden, etc, etc. Minerva, on the other hand, is wisdom, the Roman goddess of wisdom, 
and her Greek version is Athena. Now, Athena is actually the goddess of war, but when Rome took over, Athena lost her power as a war goddess and respected, much play prayed to goddess, and she became just, like, smart craft goddess, which cannot be too good for her. And the fact that this girl is named Minerva makes me think, or should make you think, that Perhaps she isn't that good at like fighting and using her strategies against Artemis, but she is very smart nothing less. Or maybe we'll maybe it will be the reverse. Maybe she's hiding her Athena self inside of her or something like that. And you should be excited for what's about to come. And let me tell you one thing. Artemis Fowl is gonna have a spark of magic in him. And he's gonna switch his eyes, if you know what I mean, or you will get it when you read the book, and it is an awesome book, an uh, absolute page turn, I could not stop reading it. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester, Artemis Fowl, best of the best. And personally, I thought this is going to be another demon fighting situation, but demons aren't the bad guys. Try to remember that.